on the next. Let's check in here. Ooh. The last question. I know this sounds insane, but do we need to ask the last question? Without the limiter of multiple choices, the answer will admittedly be more varied, and so the psychological reaction will be different. But maybe it's a core part of the experience. We're seeing marginal improvement of the test's accuracy. To be candid, the improvement is within the margin of error. Perhaps we should consider something drastic. Red herring. For what it's worth, I agree with you. Question four was always Montgomery's baby. I think question four is a red herring. We don't have a monopoly on detecting sins. In the Commonwealth, people trip up infiltrators all the time, based off their imperfect behavior and memory. It is indisputable that the baseball question produces abnormal results, but I think at its heart this is not a psychological trigger. Instead, it's a defect in memory. So, if we pin all of our hopes on question four, then it's just one wetware update later that we're back to square one. I know you dismiss my insistence that Q3 is the key, but if we have more sophisticated monitoring of test subjects, EKG, pupil dilation response time, then the subliminal data would speak volumes, since are incapable of true feeling. So again, question three. Hmm. Interesting. Montgomery. Chambers, Chambers surely had, Chambers surely has to see losing Montgomery as a mistake. I don't care if Covenant is lacking medical assistance. Our limiting factor isn't the stream of test subjects going through Covenant. It's our acquisition rate of test negatives and our research bandwidth. Montgomery is far more important here than giving scavers checkups. Can you please talk to Chambers about this? This is really interesting. <laughs>